Bob, a couple people noticed that the grippers on Hercules have been swapped out. Can you describe what that process was like and why we chose to do that? <laughs> Put the coral cutters on. So you can see that see on that? this side, you can see the there's some Tigon tubing there, and that functions to grab hold of the coral. So you get squished between the rubber there. Uh huh. And then on the other side is a pair of jaws or cutter plates that snip the coral. Ah. So you grab it and you snip it. In one, in in one, one grasp? Move, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen this kind of thing on any other vehicle, actually. It looks like a coral menorah. I know, it's just yeah. that. <laughs> Especially the one on the right. Yeah. We could start by, if we can rotate to the right and look at the one that's in the bottom right-hand corner. It's kind of more horizontal. Yeah, and I can't see where it's dividing because it's got all its polyps out, but I think this one might be uh, keratosis and not um, Isadella. And then down, just pe that just came out of view, just below us is a Tritonia feeding on uh, Swiftia, right there. So the Tritonia is the nudibranch that's up in the corner behind that. Oh, that big pink. Yeah. Oh, look at that, yep. that was cool. Wow. Crab, crab. There's a big crab on the back. This one's got its polyps kind of retracted, possibly <laughs> because that crab is there and possibly mm. because we're here. Why would the crab want to be on the coral? It just Get some high up in the water column. These ones may be using their, they're covered in that fur, so they may be chemo sensing with that. Oh, there we go. So as we look at these beautiful corals, people are asking if uh, commercial trawling is still allowed in this area. And as of right now, yes. As, yeah, as far as I know, yes, it's still allowed in this area. I'm not positive. I don't do the fish, I'm not the fisheries management other than helping them with their coral ID. All right, we could, uh, we've seen what we want here. The big one tipped over up Tipped here. over and died, or died and tipped over. Yep. It's got a nice big crab in it. Just want to see it show the crab that's hosting in it, two or three oh of yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Looks like right. bamboo, like yeah. white bamboo. That's why they call it the bamboo coral, because once all the polyps are off, it looks just like bamboo. That, that makes sense. What? Yep. <laughs> want to zoom in on that, Mary? What's the yellow thing growing on it? Oh, uh, that's an anemone. Wow, that's a... This is a big one. <laughs> yeah. It's probably, it looks like it's five or six centimeters at the base. That is a big one. <laughs> oh, there's a, right idea. at the bottom of the screen, there's a base of one that's a similar size, kind of drifting in and out. Oh. oh this is a bamboo c coral. This is, yeah, this is Isadella. Yeah, there's an anemone. It's like a little hydroid or bryzoan next to it. Is that a sponge behind it? Uh, yeah, I wonder if that's Some a stock kind of sponge. Uh, it looks like a stock sponge. That's odd at the top of that bamboo. That looks great. All right, we're just about done with this move. Okay, come wide, mm -hmm. please, Mary. You can go ahead and zoom in on that one. Okay, <laughs> zoom in, Dave. It's nice. Got a nice big uh, Isadella there. And just below it, there looks what looks to be Swiftia. Some brachiopod shells off to the left. Right? Yep. You want to zoom on this? Yes. Oops, yep. I'm sorry, I thought you were asking me. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, pretty. What species are we looking at here, Meredith? Uh, this is Isadella. Um, they don't, I don't know the exact species. Not much work has been done sorting out uh, genetically who is who in the coral world. So one of the reasons I'm working with some of the eDNA is that uh, from some of the images we capture here, as lovely as they are, we can't necessarily tell what the species is we're looking at. Um, and so it's another way to kind of assess that, but without having to necessarily sample um, tissue. Very cool, thanks. So is the crinoid, the crinoid is not feeding on the Polyps. No, these crinoids just use these uh, taller corals to get up into the current, um, give th gives them a better opportunity to feed. Are there echinoderms here that would feed on the polyps? Uh, that I don't know. You haven't seen any? No, we haven't seen any. All the ones we've seen have been these crinoids that have been up in the things and just also some uh, ophoroid brittle stars. But the current has definitely picked up from just a few minutes ago. Meredith, someone's uh, wondering, oh, these dead corals that mm -hmm. we're seeing, um, is there, it would be hard to speculate, but could you guess why we're seeing 
so many skeletons in this area? Um, there are a couple of possibilities. They could have just been a death event. Um, given the trawling vessel we've seen nearby, we do know there's trawl fishing that goes on in the area. They could be a result of bycatch having come out of the nets or just been knocked over. Um, we have seen evidence that some of them are just getting too big for the rocks that they are attached to and are tipping over in the current. And for these guys, that would also be really bad and pretty much the end. Would this site be a candidate site for a marine protected area? Um, it's not outside the realm of possibility. Those, there's a lot of work that has to go into uh, targeting specific sites, um, doing the research. This is the kind of thing that we start with this kind of survey. Um, find out what's here. There's a lot of players involved from you know, the local states uh, to the fishing community to NOAA. Um, so w the first thing we're doing here is just getting uh, information on the ground, getting a baseline so we can make decisions like that. It's really nice, really healthy compared to some of the other ones. Happy right. coral. That's good. Yeah, that one's good size. Look at a little hermit crab down there. No, that's not a sea oh. pen. That's a, a bamboo coral. How much of this do you want? Um, as close to the base as you can get it would be good. Oh, okay. You want a bunch of it. Yeah. Megan, is this 104? Yes, exactly. Looks excellent. Thank you. I'll take a sea whip mixed in there amongst the big bamboo corals. It's nice dark color there. This particular group, uh, when you're shallower, it will be white and then down deeper like this, to get that dark red color. Looks like it's in the anemone. So it's a uh, odd quirk of deep sea animals. They tend to be red. It tends to make them invisible down tiny here. Tiny brittle star crawling mm -hmm. up it. Number of brittle stars. Yeah, there's a few of them. Oh, I think this might be one of the ones we looked at earlier this morning that had the Tritonia feeding on it because I see a Tritonia. I thought we saw it from the other side, so we're right where we need to be. There's not much left to nope. the poor coral. That's cool, though. Do the polyps have any defense mechanism? Some have stinging cells, but I don't know that they have that in this species. I think these are mostly filter filter feeders with mucus. I think they're pretty much at the mercy of the Tritonia. Uh -huh. They eat sea pens in shallower water. <laughs> Will he it's move just hanging out there? No food? <laughs> yep, he'll move on uh, probably to one of these neighboring ones. Uh-oh. Yeah. Well, that's a rather impressive base. We've got two clustered right together there. Meredith, have we seen any stocked crinoids today? Uh, I have not seen any stocked crinoids today. Yeah. Just these, uh, the brown ones and the uh, green ones. Mm -hmm. Just the two varieties, or the black ones and the green ones. Black and green, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Quite mm -hmm. nice. Can you zoom in on the one that's laying over on the ground? Uh, the, the pink one that's kind of laying down. That's a bubblegum coral paragorgia. You haven't seen many of those on this site. I think that's only the second one. It's a little bigger than the first one. Yep, those are crinoids up on it. Are those polyps fully extended? Uh, they're not fully extended, uh, but they're definitely ex uh, extended. You can see further down, they were, they're fully retracted. And it gets very, very smooth. Uh, Got a little cup coral underneath him. Uh, those are polychaete worms and crinoids and a couple little shrimp. And a crab. And a crab. Top of one. So you guys probably uh, mentioned it, but the question is coming in. Uh, we're thinking that a lot of these corals may have toppled because they got too big on those uh, little rocks that they were growing on and it just kind of fell over with its own weight where it would then be munched on by a host of down here. And on that zoom, you can see why they call them bamboo coral. Yes. It's yeah. just beautiful, isn't it? It's just kind of Doesn't seem to be. I mean, it looks like it broke when it fell, but yeah. But it's still attached. What's crawling along the sea floor there? Oh, little, that yeah, little purple thing. Before. Yeah. Bright purple thing. Polychaete. Yeah, polychaete worm. 